Hey guys, uh, today is a Saturday, April the uh, 25th, so I hope y'all's weekend has uh, started out all right. And we're almost through uh, April, guys. You know, the time's going pretty fast, and uh, you know, as we continue getting closer to the end, just expect things to move faster and faster. Um, as we've seen that, you know, has been happening since we entered 2020, which was something I expected. And at this point, it's it's just going to be back to back events. So even if this even if the virus stuff starts to let's say subside some in the summer with the heat, I still personally would expect more back to back events. Um, kind of like the peace and safety. You know, everyone's saying it's 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 going to peace and safety. Everything's going to go back to normal. You know, people are thinking this is going to return back to normal, but it's not gonna. This is the it's only going to get worse from here on out. It's, it's only going to continue getting worse up until we leave. And then it will take off and get un- unbelievably horrible for those left behind. And so there's also reports coming out of, I'm seeing out coming out from uh, Japan or over there that apparently Kim Jong-un, they're saying he's in a vegetative state, the dictator of North Korea. You know, if that's the case, that can create a very destabilized situation. So whenever, whenever any of these uh, communist countries regime, regime regime changes, that can create a very destabilizing situation in those countries. And North Korea, that 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 um, people have been shown that us um, they're occurring. Um, I believe a, a nuclear type event over in that region. Um, you know, Asia, North Korea, that area around the time frame of the rapture. I know some people have been showing things about that as one possibility, as something to look out for. And I even had a dream a few years back about um, being in an airport. I knew I was in Asia at a coastal city and I was talking to the people were panicked inside and I was talking about like a nuclear, I think a nuclear explosion had occurred or something, but I looked out, there was the ocean. I knew it was a, somewhere in Asia, it was on, I was looking out towards the coastline and I was in, in an airport. Um, so now this, the destabilization, if this is true, if those reports are true, that it could create a pretty destabilized situation in North Korea if there's going to be a re- regime change, for example. So that's something to keep an eye on. And so last night I did have a few dreams, guys, uh, more personal. So where the Lord was confirming, you know, the closeness and personal things also. But there was one in particular, I, I believe it's meant to be shared. And I believe it relates to the war stuff. So I've said before, it's keep your eyes out for anything war related soon before we leave. So anything war related, war development, military activity, movements, a potential conflict starting, things of that nature. Is something to look out for uh, before we leave. And I believe this dream ties into that. So in this dream, I was in our house. I was, I was with one, a male, a guy, I don't know who it was. He, we were, um, we were off in one corner in the, like our living room. And this guy was, he had like gunpowder. He was doing something with gunpowder. So gunpowder is used in fireworks, ammunition, explosives, war related stuff. The, this guy was doing something with gunpowder. I can't remember what exactly. I walked off from him. I found a some sort of device. I knew this was from World War II. It was essentially military surplus, something from World War II. It was about the size of a large book. Uh, it was metal. I would say it was a um, about the size of a, like the Bible in terms of thickness. It was rectangular in shape. It was hollow. And I knew it was something from World War II, essentially military surplus. From back then, I, I was handling it, and it had a, I knew it was, it seemed like maybe it was multi-function, maybe multiple purposes, and there was a lever on it. I moved it. I heard it, like, it made this noise, and I knew it was almost like a fire starter function to, like, spark or start a flame, and I was like, I thought to myself, I'm like, well, I better not move that because, it, you know, we don't want to start a fire. But then I was like, well, there's no fuel in it. I mean, it shouldn't start a fire. So I put it back in its like container. It was in some sort of like, I don't know, cardboard or storage container. I walked back to the guy 
then I walked back to this device again and I heard it was, it was, it was, um, it had created a flame. Apparently I had started a fire guys and I was very surprised. I'm like, Oh no, Oh no. It was, I believe it had been starting to catch the container on fire, the stuff it was, um, surrounded by. And I was like, Oh no, no, no. And I, you know, I, I started blowing to put out the wick on this device and I'm like, and I told the guy, I was pretty much yelling at him, you know, this started a fire, you know, I told him there's, there must've been kerosene. So I'm like this, why would there be kerosene in this, this the kerosene that there shouldn't be any kerosene from way back when, you know, World War II. Cause I knew this thing was from World War II or something. And, and so I blew out the flame and, um, I, uh, I blew out the flame, got it out, and then I believe I got the other stuff put out that it, you know, it had started a fire essentially. And then we were at our kitchen sink, me and this guy, we were trying to get rid of the burnt embers, the black ash. It had created a fire. We were trying to put it down the sink. I told him, don't do that. We need to just throw it outside. Don't put it down the sink. You know, it's going to clog the sink. That's not smart. And then all of a sudden, guys, in the the it's like a flood had started water was coming into the house from outside there was essentially a flood had started the water level was rising 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 i knew we needed to get out of the house or we were going to drown so me and this guy we get out of the house we get out of the house and now we're at the front and now it seems like the scene changes where i don't believe we're at our house it's like some different structure building location i don't know where but we're now we're outside i look the door on this new place it felt like maybe a different place the front entrance but the water levels rising guys our legs it's rising 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 it's a and then we start um having to swim so we have to start having to swim and i saw it the water got over the the first level of this the building the the door the top of the door and so i knew i'm like anyone in there is now at risk of drowning is now the 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 top of the door frame is covered in water and it kept rising, rising, rising. And we started swimming. Then I look and there's other people around too, kind of with a panicked look, worried look. And we're like, we got it. We knew we all had to get to higher ground. I believe some people were saying, we're going to drown. We're going to die. Oh no, oh no. And so me, 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 the guy, the other people, we all started swimming. And then we grabbed onto, there were wooden, um, like offshoots, like the rafters from the second floor of this new different structure were essentially sticking outside of the frame to where you know we could grab onto it so we jumped up or well now we were in the water so we grabbed onto this this upper uh these wood offshoots from the frame lifted ourselves up we were all doing this we we got onto the second level of this different structure and like second floor, second level, but it was almost like a um, open air, like a uh, like an open air balcony, open air upper level patio balcony, upper floor it was like almost open. And so we were walking around. And I knew now we were in a safer place, which I believe this represents basically the rapture, the flood. You know, the flood, Noah's flood, the uh, tribulation starting. And at this point, there was people off at a distance. I believe on top of a you know, maybe a different building nearby. And, um, we all started singing a, a song. We were saying, um, we will always be together. Or I think we were saying we will, we will always be forever together. We will always be forever together. We were repeating this, I guess, verse of some song over and over and over me and these other people, which I believe represents, it's the body of Christ. We were all singing this together. We will always be together or we will always be forever together we will always be forever together there may have been some other lyrics I don't know I tried to look it up it sounded kind of like a pop song but I couldn't find an exact match um but me and the other people we were all singing this together which represents the body of Christ the rapture and I started jumping I think I ended up where they were I was like jumping in the air really high doing backflips very excited very happy full of joy and that's where the dream ended. So and I believe the Lord is pointing to war. So the, the gunpowder, obviously warfare. Um, the, the device from, I knew it was from World War II. I was examining it. I, sh I, I pulled the lever. It started a fire. I didn't even know it. Apparently there was kerosene in it. So kerosene before a, 
uh, light bulbs, electricity, they use kerosene for um, lamps and heat in, light in lamps. And before that, they used like well oil. But this device I knew had held, apparently had kerosene in it from like World War II still. So I believe the Lord's saying World War III. World War III is coming. World War III. That's why I believe that's why it was from this device was from World War II. The Lord saying World War Three is coming very soon. The flames started. That's World War Three starting. Um, that's why I say I believe the Lord's pointing to keep your eyes out to anything war related right before we leave. The water started uh, flooding in, guys, into the house. We had to get out. That's the the flood started. Noah's flood, judgment, the great tribulation. We got outside, the water level rose higher, higher, higher. We see it right now, guys. The floods basically started with the virus here. This is unprecedented for our generation. This is, the flood has clearly started, guys. We're protected. We're on the ark right now. And the Lord's getting ready to uh, take us home out of here before things get extremely, extremely bad. Uh, but until we leave, continue things, continue to see everything to, you know, escalating, getting worse and worse but we're protected, we're on the ark. And so me, the guy, and these other people, we grabbed onto the, the, you know, the wood, the offshoots from the second floor. We lifted ourselves up, so that's through Christ. He has us protected. We're being, uh, we're safe, even though we're seeing the floodwaters, the floodwaters are rising right now. We're safe, we're protected. And I believe getting onto that second floor the second floor, I believe, probably represents the rapture and also essentially being on the ark right now in this kind of intermediate state before the rapture. We're protected. We have nothing to fear. And I started, uh, um, we all started singing that we will always for, forever be together, me and these other people. That's the body of Christ. We're all going to be together, one big family. We're going to be happy, joyful. We're going to be at peace. We're going to be with the Lord for eternity. And we won't, you know, we won't have to worry about this stuff anymore, this world or anything about it. It will be, we'll, it will be over, guys. And we'll be forever, you know, we'll be together forever as one big family in Christ. It's going to be beautiful. And that, that time is coming very soon. And I was jumping up and down, jumping very high in the air, doing backflips, very joyful. You know, it was having a blast. I was singing, everyone else, we were all singing this, this same song, the lyrics. And um, guys, we're getting close. No matter what we see, don't have fear. And know before it gets really, really, really bad, the Lord's going to take us home. Before things get out of control. As we clearly see the escalation now. And don't be lulled into a, a, a place of um, worldly uh, peace and safety by listening to these people saying, Oh, oh everything's going to go back to normal the virus everything's going to go back to normal as i'm telling you right now even if this thing takes a, a a dip goes down a little bit as the temperatures get warmer they're pretty sure a second wave is coming in the fall so i don't know if we're going to be here for that i hope we're not but even if this thing starts telling off as it heats up in the spring and summer don't don't be lulled into the uh, peace and safety thinking everything's just going to go back to normal is even is, I think it's going to be back to back to back events until we leave. So guys, I'll leave it at that. Have a good weekend. Stay strong in the Lord, and I look forward to uh, seeing y'all soon. Just know that time draws near, and uh, be at peace in the Lord. Uh, God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.